hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i am going to show you how to make a magic masala for vegetable curries masala means spices that is a special spices mixture for vegetable curries you can use this spices mixture for any kind of vegetable curries it will make the curry super delicious it will work like a magic so let's see the recipe at first i have taken a fry pan to collect all the spices here and i have taken this spoon this is tablespoon so i am going to measure all the things with this spoon at first i am going to add 4 tablespoons of cumin seeds 4 tablespoons of cumin seeds and now 4 tablespoons of coriander seeds the quantity of cumin seeds and coriander seeds are same and now i am going to add 1 tablespoon of fennel seeds now half tablespoon of fenugreek seeds fenugreek seeds will give the masala a great flavor but the quantity should not be big so i am taking half tablespoon of fenugreek seeds now 1 tablespoon of black peppers the flavor of black pepper will feel very great in this masala so i am taking 1 tablespoon of black peppers now half tablespoon of cloves 3 to 4 black cardamoms you may take 3 to 4 green cardamoms also now 6 to 7 bay leaves and now for a great flavor of chilies i am going to add some red chilies you may take red chilies according to your taste now i am taking 4 to 5 pieces of cinnamon and here star anise one and a half pieces of star anise it's very strong in flavor so don't add too much now one piece of javitri that is called maize flower in english and now a small piece of nutmeg that is called jaifal in hindi it's also very strong in flavor so don't add too much now we have to roast all the things on the lowest heat for about 6 to 7 minutes there should be no moisture in the spices and a nice aroma should come from the spices so the heat should be on the lowest and the time should be 6 to 7 minutes and we have to stir them continuously like this so that they can be roasted evenly and now our spices are ready they are so nicely aromatic and the color is changed a little so now we have to cool them down fully and after that we'll grind them So let's wait for some time until they are cooled down nicely. So friends, now the spices are nicely cooled down. Now we have to grind them. So for grinding, I need a mixer jar. I have taken a small mixer jar. And now we have to transfer all the spices into the mixer jar. Along with these spices, we have to add some other spices too. So at first I am adding half teaspoon of hing that means asafoetida It should not be much in quantity only half teaspoon and now 1 teaspoon of amchur powder that means dry mango powder and 1 teaspoon full of black salt Now half teaspoon of regular salt regular salt will work as a preservative for this masala So only half teaspoon not more than that. And now I am going to add some dry mint leaves. Simply I dried some mint leaves in the sun. So I am taking about 1 tablespoon full of dry mint leaves. This will give the masala a great flavor but don't add too much because too much mint leaves may ruin the taste of the masala. Now we have to grind all the things into a smooth powder. So let's do it. Here our spices mixture is ready. As you can see friends that the spices mixture is very smooth. So let's take it out into a bowl. You may use this masala for any kind of vegetable curries, chole, dal and you may use this masala for chicken curries as well with the regular spices mixture. Simply this masala will do a magic to your curry. Now we have to store this masala in an airtight container. and after that we can store and use this masala for about 6 to 7 months the recipe is also very easy as you watched it so try this simple recipe and enjoy this masala 
now i am telling the using process of this masala use only one teaspoon of this masala for any kind of vegetable curries dal chole or anything at the end of your recipe and after adding this masala you have to cook your curry for about 2 to 3 minutes only don't cook your curry for a long time after adding this masala and your curry will be super yummy so guys thank you so much for watching hope to meet you in the next video hit the like button if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you try this recipe don't forget to share your experience with me thank you so much for watching bye bye take care